Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. I'm Shanhawk 2012 and this is Superhero League of Hoboken, created by Legend Entertainment in 1994 and is a point and click style adventure game with RPG elements and yeah, it is a bit random as the intro would have tipped you off at. We are the Crimson Tape. Okay, uh -huh. talking to yourself. You've got one of those multiple personality disorders. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Yes, you can. It's got all those random little bits that all te great text-based adventure games has. So, first thing we're going to do is... We're not going to put the head... Whoop. No, we're not holding the headquarters. We're going to open the storage cabinet, and we're going to take out just about everything. Because why not? We probably will be um, shuffling this around between our team members a bit later. But we are done there. So, let's get straight on to this then. Mission Room. This room at the apex of the headquarters in Pregnable Bubble Dome is a place to learn about any emergencies that might require the attention of a band of crack superheroes. Or in the absence of a band of crack superheroes, then fairly ordinary superheroes of the SLH. In the center of the room is a... is a Lee's computer, Matilda. If activated, she can provide a briefing about any pending mission. Uh, a stair curves down to the lower level, two important looking maps hang on the wall, you see a discovery map, a chaos map, and a chatterbox here. Item of chatterbox is blinking intensely. Let's turn on the chatterbox. Dog bites man! That's clearly not news. Still. Oot brand shortage reported in um, Elmira. Uh, nothing important there. Microbes bought and sold. We might be going to the pawnbroker's tent a little later, and a message from our arch enemy entropy. So, the hum of the chatterbox fades as it automatically shuts down. What are we going to be doing next? I believe he's going on turning on Matilla, and we're going to get some of our mission briefings. The Jersey City Marketplace is the geographic and economic center of that city-state. Its destruction would devastate the village, probably resulting in a series of skirmishes as villagers warred over the remains. Reports indicate that a dreaded Limburger bomb has been planted in the vicinity. This looks like the work of the fuming phantom who, you'll recall, was recently foiled by the Superhero League of Flushing when he tried to explode an armpit bomb in the Miniola marketplace. If the bomb is not disarmed in time, the market and surrounding area will be rendered unusable for 75 years, a drastic setback in our attempt to bring stability and peace to this region. The marketplace is located here on the Jersey City Peninsula at coordinates 12, 8, easily accessible by a party on foot. Indeed, that actually is right um, outside where we are. So, we can go and deal with that. It's actually one of the quickest ways to lose this game, is to go straight there and try and disarm the bomb. But we're going to worry about that a little later. What we want to do now is go through each of these briefings and decide what we're doing. The city-state is being overrun by a herd of sheep with a particularly virulent strain of rabies, possibly transmitted by rabid hedgehogs migrating down the palisades from the Nyack village region. If not stopped, the flock could weaken East Orange to the point where our strategy of extending peaceful order in the Northwestern Jersey Quadrant could be endangered. East Orange Village can, if necessary, be accessed by foot, but ferrying across the Hackensack River Basin will be faster and safer. It may be faster and safer, but we're never going to be rolling around in money in this game. We kind of need to save it, so we will be going round. That evil mastermind, Dr. Entropy, is up to his old ways again. Our operatives report that he is on the verge of perfecting a ray that will reverse the arrows on road signs. Oh, the fiend! Caravans will become hopelessly lost, and intervillage trade could come to a crashing halt. He must be stopped before he can activate this ray. Reports from the field indicate that Entropy is using a historical site in Sector 2C at 412 for his hideout. Take the ferry to East Orange Village and proceed on foot. Okay. Two more to go for. A computer malfunction in Patterson. Cult in Patterson has long been worshipping an old personal computer. All hail the computer. That the fireworks display of its screensaver contains highly <laughs> sacred messages as interpreted by the local high priest. Apparently the computer has begun to malfunction. 
the problem isn't corrected soon, the populace will grow restive, the high priest may be endangered, and a bloody power struggle could erupt over his successor. To locate and repair the PC, search for the temple at the northwest fringe of the Patterson city-state in Sector 2D. Okay. Oops, nope, that's not what we want to go to do there, it's just there. But I should really check whether the save system is working properly. In the early part of the 21st century, one of the food processing conglomerates involved in the so-called salsa wars bioengineered a particularly fiery jalapeno pepper in an attempt to create the spiciest salsa on the market. <laughs> a large crop of the new pepper it's was been discovered, then. never used, and shortly thereafter the company and its records were lost in the Great Collapse. The fate of the crop was never known until now. A cache of these dried, super-strong jalapeno peppers has been discovered in a warehouse in Newark, close to the rising water table. If this cache of peppers ever leached into the aquifer, it could render all of the area's wells unusable. This cannot be allowed to happen. The old Newark perimeter fence lies at 6-8 in this sector. Our Six, reports eight. fail to mention where within Newark the warehouse is to be found. Okay. So we have our missions. I must now assemble the team. We enter the lunchroom, intent on assembling a party of rough, tough, monster battling, mission solving superheroes. So, since we do have a lot of very hot jalapeno peppers, the Iron Tummy is added to the team. We're also going to add Robin Mark because he's pretty much the strongest character we start off with. So, he's quite good for combat. I would take Tropical Oil Man, but I think we actually need Mademoiselle Pepperoni's power at some stage in this first batch of missions. Um, both um, Captain Excitement and Tropical Oil Man are brilliant in combat, though to be fair, Captain Excitement's power can be used on a lot less people than uh, Tropical Oil Man. I suppose we can take Tropical Oil Man for now, because we're only going to need... Um, the Iron Tummy for as long as we can um, until we deal with those jalapenos. So let's take the stairs down and explore the rest of this place. Museum of Hoboken History. The SLHHQ was built on the highest point of Hoboken. A rocky pro ah. Ah. promontory overlooking the Hudson. It was the first site for was first site of a mansion known as Castle Stevens. Later, it was the site of a Stevens Institute of Technology Administration building, and between 2012 and the Great Collapse, it was the site or the repository of local history of exhibits. Part of this museum still exists here, undisturbed below the HQ. A very lifelike statue of someone named Frank Sinatra stands in the center of the room. Our draw painting is hanging on the rest of the wall. The rest of the party follows us. We're going to take the painting, because why not? We'll also take the... Can we not take the cake? Take keg. You cannot take the cake. Uh, Waxwork Sinatra. Not holding that. We can take. No, nah, apparently we can't take anything else, but we've got what we wanted. So let's go up the stairs and then let's go out onto the streets of Hoboken. Now, this is um, how it looks. We now know we need to get to 6 8 in this sector. However, the easiest way of doing this is to go up and we immediately. <coughs> Apologies, should really clear my throat out. We now come on and camera to free nasties. And I really should have probably equipped people. So, we have the up we have the three enemies here. We have two two-headed things and a lawyer. That I did. Right. They're gonna attack you as well. Uh oh, we really should have given you a um a weapon of some kind. And then we're gonna use the mutant bow to increase his cholesterol. 51 damage. Victory is ours! We received $75. Huzzah for the $75. Take it East Orange Village for 20 kilo dollars. I normally charge 50, but seeing as you're superheroes and all, interested? Again, we should really just go round, but it might save time if I just do that. Oh well. So, here we are in Sectors 2D. And apparently we're going to have to go sneaky here. We've come across four nasties. And they're all 
Brainiacs. Okay, so that didn't quite work. That didn't quite work. Nine damage. Cholesterol! Away! Right. And... Ooh, they're actually quite tough here. Okay, so he's looking behind him. We're going to attack because we're really low on health. You're dead. Attack, and then we're going to use the cholesterol power. You're defeated. 360 experience points. And I think we're now going to have to... We're going to have to rest, I think. So we're going to have to consider it. Here. I must have forgotten how we rest, which is annoying. We have a lot of random items here. There we go. Here's a pointy stick and rubber gloves. We actually, um. There we go. Now he's got a two before. Uh, hand valid. Two and hand. Oh, actually, it's the same damage value. So that, that didn't actually change anything. Right. Uh, let's not save here because we still got some time to go. Oh, damn it. Maybe I can't go this way yet. I thought I could get round. Surprise is a band of four nasties. If you're hostile to that idea, I'll develop a few other concepts. Let's do lunch next Tuesday. Let's dot. Shoot. No oh dear. Alright, so I think you're gonna have to use your cholesterol powers on that guy. It didn't quite work. Chickens and runs away. That's good, we don't mind that. They're all cowering. Alright. Use the... Ah, oh, dang it. We are in real trouble here, actually. Oh, yeah. You may not be a crook, but you are dead. Let's just kill him. Right, in foes cholesterol, you are defeated. We gained 164 experience, and we got a vomit-proof vest, which probably has a lot more use than we think. Right, come on. So here we go. We are actually in the right sector now. And let's enter the village. And there are sheep everywhere. Oh dear god. Uh, struggling to pull out through the mud, mountain of wool balls. I think we're going to just leave here. Actually, whoops. Party is squeezed into a small booth with black walls. Uh, party of superheroes, always glad to costume kites and brain faces in my shop. And on the shop I run, under that black market. You can't see my wares. Uh, whoops. Oh, I shall I run? None of that blue must is busy here in here. No, sorry. From the back, you see my sound of hear the sound of flushing toilets. Hmm. Well, we at least have the ability to um, go and sort things out. But I think we're done. We don't want to buy anything just yet. Oh, here we go. I can rest here. We're still to two health. We have two hit point. We have two rests left. And we'll deal with that a little later. Oh, band of six nasties. We are ambushed, but these are weakened enemies. Mind you, we are in real trouble. Unless my phone going off. Ah, uh, why did I not prepare for this properly? Yes, I may have hit you. I'm going to do worse, though. Shoot! Just misses past the terrible two. And we're going to attack the lawyer because why not? More cholesterol. 
lawyer sues and takes down the iron tummy. Oh dear, we're in real trouble here. Robomob! He's ran away. That's 171 for Robomob, and yeah, we need to rest again. Oh dear. Thankfully though, we've now got to the inner city bit. So we're in the right place. Oops. But I think we're gonna leave here, because we need to rest. Yes. We're definitely resting, so that means we've only got one more now before we're out and we fail. If we get back to the headquarters, we can um, restore, but now we're back in here. Now we don't know currently where it is. Nope, uh. Ah. It's somewhere there. And the four nasty surprises us. Oh dear god. They're all cowering, so that's fine. Shoot. And he goes down. And I'm not sure if it's worth doing it on you, but we're raising your cholesterol. That actually somehow worked. Cowers goes and runs away. I love this game for some some of the randomness. And this game really is random. Uh I didn't see what that quite did, but uh stunning Wilderman aggression resulting in twelve damage. More guns. More cholesterol. Two hundred and sixteen. And we find some stuff. Do we actually have anything we can eat? Yes, Crimson Tape is going to eat. Which increases his brain stats. So, Hazard there. Let's not use any of the um, other stuff for now. And continue searching. Six nasties. Attack, one down. Okay. I demand that you buy me five replacements. <laughs> I've been hit. I need medical attention. Only the best, and I won't wait in line. Uh, the enemies are awesome. We're going to increase your cholesterol because I remember you being quite difficult. Now I find out that these just screaming mini goes chicken and runs away. Cowers, cowers. So if you're just going to cower, I'm going to destroy you. In the name of justice. Shoot. And one more. Three hundred and five experience. Ooh, ooh. Darn it, we can't actually do anything here. We can't look in the pizza box without hope. Oh, darn it, I should have brought the um, Mademoiselle Pepperoni. Uh, we're going to leave the box. Yes, we are a wimp. We are definitely a wimp, but heck. We're alive to continue being wimps. Rubble, rubble, rubble. City building. Uh... Ah, three more nasties. We might actually be able to clear this area out, but we need to find out where this darn thing is. I've done it. Increases cholesterol, we need to kill the McMutant. Also, I think we're now... It may have been... It was definitely called for, I'm sorry. It was. Raise your cholesterol, he's not dead. He nearly kills the Iron Tummy, and we need him. 161, we also find a letter opener. Alright, where is it? Yes. 
Have we done it? Oh, we found the warehouse of jalapenos! Warehouse. The party's into a large dinghy warehouse with a single exit to the northeast. The floor is very damp, as though the water table very close to the surface here. A stack of dried jalapeno peppers stretches almost to the ceiling. The rest of the party follows you. We are then going to talk to the party. We're going to talk to the Iron Tummy. Close it, man. Well, like the superhero recruiting brochures say, it's more than a job. It's more than an adventure. <laughs> it also has role-playing <laughs> elements. Or something like that. It's been a while since I signed up. You explained the game better than I did. Well done. Uh, right, I have a job for your famous cast iron stomach. Sure thing. My stomach's been growling for the suckers ever since we walked in. <laughs> I tell me to the entire cache of peppers in a single bite. It takes too long to chew and swallow. It certainly wishes he'd eaten it in two bites instead, but the tummy is too proud to ever admit that. As the peppers vanish, a limp white rag sees the light of day for the first time in ages. All members of the body gain 100 experience points. We're going to take the rag. Next, I believe we're going to save because next time we're going to do more Superhero League of Hoboken. Because one of our tasks is complete. Four more to go this chapter. Until next time.